You are tuned in to Ned Ned Nerb the Schizophrenic. This is day six of 100 symptoms. Today's topic was inspired by the symptom I experienced last video in the last minute or so. I call, I'm calling it linguistic freeze. It's different than what you might know of as catatonic seizure where a patient usually in the psych ward freezes in a rigid position and doesn't move for quite a while. Um, uh, it's not that. It, for me, I'm talk right now I'm talking about linguistic freeze, linguistic seize up where I have a tip of the tongue moment but the cat got it. <laughs> cat got the tongue. And I am unable to speak because I had some kind of apprehension or worry or anxiety or a sense that what I was saying was important and I was oh, overlooking something. Any of those reasons I might hang and just not be able to come up with a sentence for a while and if I'm in front of a camera that means hanging and not talking in a group setting if I have a linguistic fluff moment like that where I freeze up another person usually can carry in. It happens from time to time to anybody that the mind loses track of what it's saying and uh, the cat's got the tongue. <laughs> and a little bit more about the catatonic um, seizure type of freeze. Uh, sometimes I do experience um, motion freeze where I'm alone and I'm low motivation and I'm depressed and I'm maybe dissociating. There's intrusive thoughts or intrusive memories and I don't have any action for a while. I feel like I want to do something. I want to get up. I want to do it, but that doesn't happen. That is different than the linguistic freeze I'm talking about where it's more, you have a focus on something, on a topic, but the mind is obscured by some motion inside and you don't, and I don't respond as quick to my own thoughts. Hmm. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to Ned Ned Nerb, the Schizophrenic. This is day six of 100 Symptoms, Linguistic Freeze. Subscribe and share and comment below. Bye.